Hello everyone, my name is Kubik, and welcome back to another episode of Star Made. And uh, it feels good to be back, guys. I apologize for the lack of content as far as Star Made goes. Um, I've been really busy lately. I've been barely getting out any Minecraft videos as it is, and I did record a Star Made video, but uh, I decided that really just wasn't good enough. Uh, it wasn't uh, what I wanted. And uh, I decided to do a little bit of redesigning. So we've got ourselves a pretty basic ship core here, as you guys can see. I've got some gray hull uh, in here. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. But what I'm building here is a brand new ship. Now you guys might be wondering, where are all of your other ships? <laughs> what did you do? So I tore apart all of my other ships that I was that I had built mainly get the salvage modules, the cannon barrels, power reactor modules, and the power capacitors. I actually did buy these recently, and uh, thruster modules as well as the hulls. Mainly because we're going to be building a ship that is much more improved than the ships that we've built in the past. I've been watching a lot of tutorials lately on uh, exactly how the mechanics of this game work, and I understand it a little bit more. I'm not saying I'm an expert by any stretch, but I understand it a little bit more. So, yeah, what I'm going to do here is basically I'm going to be designing a ship that it's going to be interesting because I'm going to be designing a ship. Now, it's going to, not going to be the your average ship. I realized um, after much... I guess thinking about it and kind of debate, I kind of realized that rather than building a ship based off of like you, you build the ship, attach the weapons, rather than doing that, maybe let's build a sh build a ship around a weapon. Rather than trying to put the weapon into a ship, uh, we simplify things a little bit more and decide to go with a weapon, just one giant gun that we can use to take down enemies. We can also maybe use it for some mining if we decide to do that. Um, we could do pretty much whatever we wanted with it. Um, and, you know, have this one ship that we use for pretty much everything. And I've got much better understanding how the mechanics work, so we don't have to worry. Hopefully you don't have to worry too much about, like, power management or anything. I've got a pretty good, I could handle on that now. So, yeah. What I'm going to do here is uh, kind of just do some building here. Uh, I'll bounce back and forth. In fact, what I should be doing here, I just realized I've been doing this all wrong. <laughs> what I should be doing here is set my plane for exactly where I want the, is it the YZ? Yeah, set the YZ plane here so I can just duplicate everything, make it a little bit easier on myself. So yeah, what I'm going to do here, guys, is just kind of do some building. I uh, just kind of attached some armor here. I'm going to be using some armor so that way the ship uh, becomes more of a, a battleship, in a sense. Um, in fact, what I might do first, before I build any structures, <laughs> let's uh, let's attach this weapon first, before we do anything. So, I wanted to use originally the damage beam modules, but we just don't have enough credits to do that right now. So, I'm just going to uh, go with a cannons a cannons, that's English, uh, go with some cannons here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. I'm just marking out the front here so I know where the front is. Um, I did that uh, with a previous ship where I built it backwards. So yeah, we gotta make sure we don't do that. Now do I have, yeah, I got cannon computers here. I'll just chuck, uh, where do we wanna put these? Let's just do something like this. I don't mind this duplicated. Besides that, I will. Actually, <laughs> I don't want to duplicate. Um, let's unset that for a second. Okay, and then we will set our YZ plane back. Okay, so what we're going to do is attach cannon barrels. Going like so, and they'll all be attached to this one cannon computer. I see how this line is linking up to that, that green line there. It's all going to get attached to that one cannon computer. We're just going to run a giant cannon uh, in a grid pattern like we've done in the past. Probably to about there seems pretty good. And then what we would do is uh, come in here and add 
great haul. Back to our cannon barrels. Like so I will buy some more. <laughs> uh, let's see. Whoops, I just smacked the heck out of my mic. Alright, let's see. Can we buy a hundred? No, I don't think we can. Let's buy by 90. There we go, that'll work. Uh, hopefully we get rid of all of our resources, it's fun. Okay, and then what I'm also going to do here is attach salvage modules to this. Um, so what we'll do is, in fact, let me put down the cannon barrels first before we put on any salvage modules, just so that make sure it links up correctly um, with the cannons. So the cannon computer and from the cannon computer, then we can do the salvage modules. So yeah, let me place down the rest of the cannon barrels here. Uh, might not be able to finish off all of this, but we'll get some good progress going here. All right, guys, so we're gonna place down our salvage computer right there. We have that selected. Uh, let's reset our YC plane. Uh, I did not add the sec I guess third layer of salvage modules because I wanted to or third layer of cannon barrels because I wanted to put in the salvage modules first, actually. Um, so we're gonna get this in here. Uh, the idea is that it'll be a miner and a have the ability to fight as well. Um, what the idea here is that we'll be able to use this for, like this ship, imagine kind of like a one giant gun that other ships can connect to and move. That's the idea here, is that we'll be able to connect to, a, we'll be able to connect ships to this and be able to uh, essentially connect ships and then transport this gun wherever we want to transport it. Uh, salvage modules. These things aren't quite as expensive. Uh, let's see. I can I actually get? That's 17,000, so maybe 30,000. Get 29? Sure. Uh, we'll be able to function with this thing at least. Um, where did those go? So, did I buy cannons? What salvage modules? Where are they? Oh, I bought a bunch of salvage computers. Are you serious? Whoops. Okay, let's sell that. We can get it back, actually. We can actually buy 30 of these. Now. Actually, that's very inexpensive. Alright, let's buy, like, 90 more of those. That'd be fine. Okay, so... Let's get our salvage modules. In there. And we'll place down some... Here. All right, guys. So now for the cannons, won't be able to finish this off entirely, but we'll be able to get a good start here. So before I go any further, guys, I want to give a shout out to Tamron Shade, who uh, explained a lot of things to me about Star Made and left a very helpful comment. One of the most helpful comments I've ever had on my channel. So uh, thank you, Tamron. I believe I said that correctly, please. <laughs> uh, for all of the tips, um, it's really like not all of them I quite register. Um, I'm slowly getting there. Mainly been watching a lot of tutorials, but uh, for the power modules, what we need to do is place them the length of the ship um, and then also the width and the height of the ship. And what that will allow us to do is basically have the best possible power because the power is based off of the how big you can make the dimensions so instead of being like this giant box it's more of the lines that you do um, like this is expanding out um, what is it horizontally and this is expanding out uh, this I guess both horizontally and then this would be vertically we're expanding it and this module the power reactor modules are registering as this is getting much this ship is becoming better um, so if you look at that you see the recharge rate is 
pretty insane. Uh, it's got a nice capacity, but not a very good capacity. What we need to do is place down a bunch of these power capacitors. And what these do is store power. So it's kind of like having uh, energy cells in Minecraft, or Feed the Beast, I should say. Um, just having this backup of uh, energy um, that allow for much more energy in your ship. So you see that capacity's gone up from uh, originally is 50,000, now it is, what is that, 123,630. <laughs> so yeah, we're improving the ship's power drastically just by doing this little bit here. Um, it's not a very big power capacitor by any means. Um, well, it might be getting a little bit large here. <laughs> um, but it's not too bad. Like It's not like we're you know creating this large thing, but we're getting a lot of power here um, for our ship. Let's look at the power reactor module again. See, now we're up to 202,000. So we almost doubled what we just did, what we just had there. Uh, we almost just doubled it. So, yeah, pretty insane. Um, will that do much? Yeah, it will. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And uh, basically, we're going to build, like I'm saying, like I said before, we're going to build the skeleton frame of this. So we have a general idea of what we're doing before we build the actual ship. So this thing can function, technically. We just need to throw in some thruster modules. Um, which I have a bunch of those. And they are thruster modules. Um, we just need to throw those in. And this thing can technically function. Just making sure I do all this correctly. Um, so we'll have our thrusters come out a little bit this way. Um, and then what we'll do is throw in gray hull. Thruster modules like so, and I know I could do like an advanced builder mode and so forth, but that just becomes very tedious for me. I like to just be able to click. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got about a hundred and fifty-nine of these, so I'm gonna place these down quickly, just so that way this episode we can try and get some more done. Um, I'm gonna place these down quickly here and get a basic ship hopefully go in here and we can kind of test it out and see all the different things and hopefully we don't get attacked by pirates because this thing will get ruined um, but yeah so let me do this real quick and then i'll be back all right guys so this is about all we can do with the thrusters right now um not sure oh yeah we're i guess we're, we're, we're ran out here um but yeah so not a whole lot we can do with the thrusters to be honest um this is about all I have as far as money goes really low I know I need to make factories as a way of generating resources just have not done that learning here um, so what I'm gonna do is chuck a camera just so I can see this a little bit better I'm gonna chuck a camera uh, right here why not that way we can see out that camera not just not just have See, not just have this view, I want to have a better view here. So uh, let's just uh, play around with this a little bit and uh, see what we're capable of. I need to work on the ship, have the salvage computer it's here. Okay, that's all there, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's good. Um, don't think there's anything else. I need cargo. That was something I didn't get. Uh, hello, weapons. <laughs> um, so, cannon. Uh, got all this stuff going. Let's uh, fly around this thing. The mass isn't too bad. In fact, probably gonna go pretty quickly just because we're running with a, a skeleton structure. Um, we can test this thing out. Hello, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's. Uh, this thing's a little bit fast. Oops. Uh, can I scroll to? There we are. And uh, let's test that out a little bit more. See, so, yeah, we're making a much a little bit more successful of a beam here for mining. In fact, they're supposedly more powerful this way. So yeah, we can do a lot more mining with this. Um, if we look at inventory, we should see yeah, stuff is coming in. We've got lava in here. Um, yeah, this, this island I've tapped out pretty clean of resources. It's mainly more of like worlds that we can mine with this thing. In fact, probably putting on way more salvage modules onto this thing. But yeah, we're cutting through blocks pretty quickly, which is nice. I need to set up some storage on this ship. I haven't done that. Or on this gun, I should say. 
because basically what this thing is is a, we're basically we've created a gun or a ship that can function, but it's mainly a weapon that we've created. <laughs> uh, it feels like I don't know, it feels like something out of a movie. Like we've created a weapon, not a ship, a weapon. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna fly out maybe to this planet over here, and uh, we will. In fact, that one's a little bit closer right there, um, and and we will. Hello, weird glitches. Um, we will do some mining here on this world and see what we can come up with, see if it's any good, and uh, hopefully get some more resources in here so we can add to the ship. Alright guys, so I'm doing a little bit of mining here, and as I like, I like learning. I like to learn about new games and so forth. I want you guys to learn in general, actually, just, mine, just games. <laughs> I don't live and breathe games. I swear I don't. Um, so I want you guys to let me know what you guys personally do when it comes to mining. Do you just sit there and let the ship mine into a world, or do you kind of target ores that you can see on the, the planet's uh, surface? You know, what is the best tactic for mining? Because that's something that I've wanted to know. Um, I've seen a lot of people do mining. I know a lot of people go with the basic factory methods of you know, building factories and then they produce the resources that you really need. Um, you know, make a much better profit that way. But mining seems to be something fun as well. So, you guys need to let me know. What's your favorite tactic for mining? Personally, I've done both where, I mean, there might be a third tactic that I'm not even accounting for. It might be just like, I don't know, spin around the world a million miles an hour and you can get better resources that way. <laughs> My tactic has kind of always been just dig a hole, but right now I'm just kind of targeting resources that I can see. Um, probably you guys can't see as well on YouTube, uh, but that lava looks freaky. Um, but, you know, you guys can kind of maybe get a general idea. I'm just looking for resources right now. I'm just kind of flying around. If I see something, you know, target it, turn my ship that way, and mine that resource. And uh, I think we got a pretty decent amount of stuff. That's a lot of ore, a lot of crystal uh, shards, crystals, shards, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, getting some pretty decent stuff to get our, our wage back up, I guess, our credits, our, our currency back up. In, uh, in the star made world. So yeah, let me uh, do some mining here. We might be able to get some more cash, some more credits, whatever the term is, and uh, hopefully add some shield modules to this gun, and uh, hopefully get some more progress done on this, I guess, this ship, this weapon that we've created. <laughs> and uh, and maybe maybe we'll test it out, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we might, we we'll probably have to do a lot of armor work and a lot of off-camera mining to do much. But uh, I'll see what I can come up with here. Okay. Uh -huh. And right there. Uh huh. And then a bit like that. I'll fix his smile a little bit. Okay, that eye's a little small. I can fix that. Oh my gosh, his eye's huge. It's got lava inside of it. What have I done? Alright guys, so we're back here at the shop and we're just going to sell a lot of our random things as well as whatever's in our inventory. Um, I have to hop out of the ship to do this. Let's see, that's the wrong key. There we are. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I've got all this stuff in my inventory. Um, need to do... I guess cargo would have been better, but uh, we're going to get our cash up here a little bit. <laughs> that actually brought it up quite considerably. This will bring it up quite considerably as well. Almost back to 100,000, which is what we started out with. That should get us there. Yep, there we go. So yeah, um, we've got a little bit of cash coming in here. I'm sure for some of you who play this game a lot, it's not a whole lot, uh, but we're getting, we've made a profit here. <laughs> we've done something good in Star Made, I believe, I hope, until the comment section tells me otherwise. Like, I've made some fatal error with this ship. I don't think I have, 
don't tell me that I have because I have. I don't know. Nah. Um, but yeah, so one of the things I'm going to do before I end this episode, I decided with the episodes here, I'm going to kind of break them up, just focus on one project and make that an episode so that way you guys see more Star Might content, more co content coming your direction. So uh, what we're going to do here is uh, one of the things that um, Tamron told me to do is to claim a faction. So there's a trading guild, there's pirates. I need to make my own faction. Um, so I'm going to create a faction. Um, and I gotta come up with a crazy cool name. Faction. <laughs> now, um... Yeah, let's just go with Faction. That is our name. Faction 12. No. <laughs> uh, let's just go with, like, Faction 1. Sure. Okay, so, um... Faction points... Not sure what that is. Um, I guess I don't know. Um, declare war on hostile action. Consider controls enemy oh, faction. Yeah, I think that's all multiplayer stuff. But uh, basically, now that we've claimed this sector, we've claimed a two-two-two sector. This is our sector. This is our place to build. And uh, I'm not sure the exact importance, even a. Uh, Looking at the comments here that my screen just flashed, I apologize. Um, power systems, thirdly, fourth. Uh, I don't see where the faction is. This is a long comment. Where is it? It's build mode. I love the blocks. Learn the crafting system. Oh, here it is. Start a faction. Claim a star system. If you processed one ore, one or crystal, instead of selling them, that will give you enough resources to craft ten hull blocks. Selling everything to the shop is a very slow way to generate blocks. If you start a faction and claim a system, give you a five or six times bonus to the resources you're pulling off asteroids. Mining an ore, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's kind of like if we claim a faction. I imagine that this game is really... Screen flashed again. Um, I imagine this game is really meant to be multiplayer, um, just based off some of the multiplayer aspects. I like it single player. I like single player games. That's just me. Um, I wouldn't mind a server, but uh, I like you know the single player aspect of games. Um, but basically, like when you claim a faction, like people fight over factions, and then that whoever claims a faction gets like all of the resources and more resources and so forth. Um, so yeah, I think that's the idea here. Um, you have to, like, defeat somebody for the faction, I'm sure, or something like that. But yeah, that's gonna just about wrap it up for me today, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if so, let me know. As well as, uh, drop some tips, some helpful tips would be nice for you guys. I always enjoy seeing those. Even though I know nothing about the game, uh, up until, uh, now, you know, you guys are very, very supportive. So yeah, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. It's been Cubic, signing off. See you guys next time.